question. So again, depending on the form, the initial like symptoms might vary slightly, but for our most common form, which is late infantile, around two years of age, parents are gonna actually start to see a regression. So their baby looked great at birth, they were hitting those early milestones. They might have started to experience some developmental delay, but would then still achieve those early life uh, or developmental skills. But then around 18 months, two years of age, they actually start to see a regression. And this is when a lot of families go to the doctor and like, they're not hitting their words or they're not walking yet or they haven't spoken a single word yet or they used to be able to do this and they're not doing this anymore. Like, I'm concerned what's going on. For some families, they might have a doctor that's, you know, very keyed in and they're seeing this and they know exactly, you know, what next steps to do. For others, it's kind of a diagnostic odyssey of seeing a number of different providers. Um, we actually see quite a few of our kids actually get diagnosed by a neurologist because they're going in with, you know, they're no longer walking, they're no longer crawling, right? So they get sent to a neurologist for an evaluation who then runs an MRI and sees leukodystrophy. And so it's not uncommon for then a leukodystrophy genetic panel to get ordered or a biochemical um, panel of, you know, different uh, enzymes. So for our kind of gold standard would be for our kids to have both genetic testing, which is we want them to look at the SUMF1 gene, uh, which is again part of either you know, you do an exome or a genome or a lysosomal panel. Um, leukodystrophy panels have this gene on there as well, as well as confirmation through biochemical testing, right, where we want to test at least three sulfatases because we do have overlap with a lot of single sulfatase conditions that you've also heard about. So if you just test one, it's kind of a 50 50 chance at that point of am I looking at at, you know, for example, if you just did aryl sulfatase A, am I looking at a metachromatic leukodystrophy child or a multiple sulfatase deficiency child? So that's where the testing of additional enzymes and bio and genetic testing really comes in to make an accurate diagnosis.